we're uh, going on a path through the undergrowth. It's great this place, I quite like it. Even these um, paths through the undergrowth and through the trees are, seem reasonably well maintained. Very hard for my buggy. Yeah, not so easy for the buggy. Mm -hmm. But pretty good. Where do we come out? Who knows, there's a little pathway leading up to another seat. Uh, yeah, I think so. That's an oak tree. Plenty of oak around in Sussex countries. Countryside. Not that we're in Sussex, obviously. We've got a maple. Some variety. And these uh, paper... What are they called? Paper bark things? And the bark comes off. Very strange things. But the bark just peels off naturally. That? We're back to another pathway. Well, we just come out of the little wood bit and uh, just showing you around. It's um, very nice, it's beautiful. like a statue they've made out of the tree. I, might, I suspect that was enormous once. As we come round, and there's like a whole carpet of alums. I used to always call the onion flowers, but uh, that's not what it is. Mitch is taking a little rest, and listening to the uh, oh, the birds tweeter in the background. Got my silly hat on. That's all right. It's a very strange day today. You need your sunglasses on because it's really, really bright. Um, and yet it's dead cloudy. Right. This is the, uh, I think there's a pagoda walk, I think they call it. Yeah. Feels like you're on the top of the world, looking down. Yeah. Hey, dragon. Across oh, the dragon, dragon. Across the dragon garden. Looks lovely. Guardian of our garden, no garden sculpture is based on the legend of St. Dunstan, the patron saint of goldsmiths and one of the four saints of Wessex. The legend goes, the legend goes that when the devil tried to tempt him from his work, he struck him on the nose with a red hot tongue. Susan Ford, especially commissioned sculpture shows the dragon representing the devil and if you look closely you can see the goldsmith emblem a heart merging from St Dunstan to form an individual part of the sculpture mm, that sounds good just coming to the end of the uh, pagoda archway and into another water garden and I've no idea what this tree is A tropical garden and has a huge great big bark that's just draping yeah, down. Looks pretty spectacular. We're just gonna walk under it because it goes right across the pathway. And it just leads through your eye leads through onto maybe perhaps there was a when it's raining there's a waterfall that comes down into this pond here. Yeah. And you've got the beautiful lovely irises, the yellow ones you can see in the background, and the little white flowers. Yeah lovely. And it's a time of year when uh, we're getting into um, what was that plant I said? I can't remember. There was a plant I suddenly yelled out and said, "Yes, rhododendrons." Rhododendron time. So it won't be long before uh, they'll be taking over this garden in beautiful colour. Thank you. I love the uh, metal sculptures as well. It's the archway we've just come through. 